India's strategic use of the S-400 and advanced missile systems in May 2025. Conflict with Pakistan Escalating tensions between India and Pakistan led to a significant military confrontation, during which India demonstrated the operational strength of its most advanced defense systems and precision strike capabilities. At the heart of India's air defense shield was the Russian-made S-400 Triumph, a long-range surface-to-air missile system that has become a cornerstone of India's aerial defense infrastructure. The power of the S-400 air defense system. The S-400, acquired from Russia in a deal valued at approximately $5 billion, is one of the world's most advanced multi-layered air defense systems. India has procured five units of this system, significantly boosting its airspace protection capabilities. Designed to intercept a wide variety of aerial threats, including aircraft, drones, cruise missiles, and even ballistic missiles, the S-400 has already played a key role in safeguarding Indian skies, particularly along the volatile borders with Pakistan. In terms of capability, the S-400's radar system can detect targets up to 600 kilometers away and engage them at ranges up to 400 kilometers. It can track up to 300 targets simultaneously and engage 36 at once, making it highly effective against saturation attacks or multiple aerial incursions. This system covers vast strategic regions such as Jammu and Kashmir, Punjab, Rajasthans, and Gujarat, ensuring critical defense of high-risk zones. To create a layered defense, the S-400 uses four types of missiles with ranges from 40 kilometers to 400 kilometers, enabling interception of both low-flying drones and high-speed threats up to Mach 14. It integrates seamlessly with India's indigenous Akash missile system and Israel's Barak-8, forming a robust, multi-tiered air defense network, electronic warfare resilience and recent combat success. The S-400 is also equipped with advanced electronic warfare resilience through its 91N6E Big Bird and 92N6E Gravestone radar systems, which are resistant to jamming and capable of detecting stealth targets. These capabilities proved critical in countering Pakistan's electronic warfare tactics demonstrated in past confrontations. In May 2025, the S-400 system, nicknamed Sudarshan Chakra by Indian forces, was combat proven when it successfully intercepted missiles and neutralized incoming threats targeting 15 Indian cities, including Srinagar, Pathankot, and Amritsar. The system's real-world performance prevented damage to military infrastructure and demonstrated its strategic value both as a defense mechanism and a psychological deterrent. Simulated and real-world performance suggests an interception success rate of 80%, further reinforcing its role in Indian defense posture. In contrast, Pakistan's Chinese-supplied HQ-9 system, with a range of only 100-200 kilometers and inferior radar, lags behind. The deployment of the S-400 has reportedly forced Pakistani fighter aircraft like the F-16 to reposition deeper within their territory, reducing their operational effectiveness. India's use of precision offensive weapons. In addition to defensive measures, India launched a series of precision offensive operations starting on May 7, 2025, targeting nine high-value locations within Pakistan. These strikes were carefully planned to avoid unnecessary civilian casualties while neutralizing critical military and terror-linked infrastructure. India employed a sophisticated mix of weapon systems from French, American, and Russian origins, customized for maximum effectiveness. Scalp Storm Shadow Cruise Missiles Integrated into Rafale fighter jets, these French-made missiles are designed for deep precision strikes against hardened, fixed targets such as bunkers and command centers.
All nine intended targets were reportedly destroyed with 100% accuracy. Hammer, highly agile modular munition extended range. Also deployed from Rafale aircraft, this French-developed smart munition was used for long-range and dynamic targeting, including mobile threats. Hammer missiles complemented the scalp system effectively. Loitering munitions. Often referred to as suicide drones, these systems provided real-time surveillance and autonomous or remote precision strikes. These drones were used to identify and eliminate terrorist threats with minimal collateral damage. Despite India possessing powerful ballistic missile systems such as Agni, Prithvi, Brahmos, and Nirbe, none of these were confirmed to be used in this operation. The deliberate exclusion of ballistic missiles underscores India's strategic intent to avoid large-scale civilian harm while still delivering a strong and effective military response. Outcome and strategic implications While exact details of damage, losses, or aircraft downed on either side remain unconfirmed, ongoing analysis continues to assess the overall impact of the conflict. The situation remains fluid, and both sides are likely conducting internal reviews of their military performance and technological strengths. India's careful yet decisive use of advanced systems reflects a broader strategy, precision over provocation. This calculated approach has allowed India to maintain moral high ground while effectively deterring further aggression. Looking ahead, the future of India-Pakistan relations. The events of May 2025 mark a significant escalation, but also a demonstration of how modern warfare is evolving in South Asia, where technology, precision, and strategic deterrence now shape outcomes more than raw firepower alone. As India strengthens its indigenous capabilities and deepens global defense partnerships, Pakistan will likely reassess its own strategic options. How this conflict influences long-term India-Pakistan relations remains to be seen. The hope is that technological superiority and effective deterrence reduce the need for direct conflict and open more diplomatic channels for future peace. What are your thoughts on the recent conflict and India's use of advanced defense systems like the S-400, Scalp, and Hammer missiles? How do you think this will shape future relations between India and Pakistan? Let us know your opinions in the comments below. If you're an aircraft engine enthusiast or hobbyist, now you can own one yourself. We offer scale models of realistic aircraft and helicopter engines, some of which are fully functional display models, perfect for educational demonstrations and presentations. For more details and to explore our collection, visit the link below. Don't forget to use our discount code at checkout to get a flat 10% off on all product.